Good morning, Bulldogs. Welcome back to Smyrna Today. I'm Challen. And I'm Cavern. ACT reminder for all juniors. It is next Tuesday, so do not forget to have a photo ID and a calculator for the ACT. And if you do not have a calculator, please ask your math teacher now. Juniors, please know your testing location by scanning the list on screen and finding your testing location. Top ACT tips with Ms. Wester and Ms. Stutz. In English, less is best. This usually applies to the punctuation, especially commas. The ACT, once the shortest grammatically correct answer, also starts with the option that has the least punctuation marks. Choose the concise answer. And if you think you know the answer to this question, please tweet at us. Research has shown that guessing C at the end of the ACT has not been the best, statistically. In the past, E or K has actually been the most correct answer more often than any other option. So if you don't finish the last few, consider guessing E instead of C. Here are some ACT incentives. If you score an 18 or higher, there's a fun field day outside. Score 21 or higher, free pass to school or athletic event this year or next year. And score 23 or higher, it is a movie day in school. For a brand new slide, the Nashville Zoo is now hiring. Please consider joining their team. It is National FFA Week. Thank you for everyone who dressed up as Career Day. And tomorrow's dress up day is Purple and Gold Galaxy. So dress out of this world. And for more information on FFA Week. Happy National FFA Week, Bulldogs. I am your Smyrna FFA treasurer, Mary Stranko. Hi, I'm Mallory Sweeney, your Smyrna FFA secretary. Today's dress up day is career day. FFA's fun fact of the week, according to the United States Department of Agriculture, in 2020, 19.7 million full and part-time jobs were related to the agricultural and food sectors, 10.3% of total U.S. employment. Frederick Jones was an inventor best known for the development of refrigeration equipment, used to transport food, food and blood during World War II. He was also the first African American to receive a National Medal of Technology, though he did not live to receive it. Thank you for that. Cheer interest meeting will be this Tuesday in the cafeteria for the 2022-2023 season. That will be at 6 p.m. Have a parent or guardian to attend. If you have any questions, please see Coach Blue or email her. Please scan the QR code on screen to vote for your favorite CTE teacher. All seniors who submit their FAFSA by March 1st will be eligible to win prizes, including three Sonic gift cards. Go to studentaid.gov and apply today. For a policy reminder, do not pull your hoodies up over your head in school. Dr. Sutherland has issued a warning that if it continues, no hoodies will be allowed. And we all love to wear hoodies, so please follow this rule. If you enjoy aqua activities, please consider joining Nashville Shores. Prom tickets are now on sale in the Bulldog Bank. They are $50 each, and you must be passing your classes with no more than nine unexcused absences. Juniors and seniors can buy tickets. That has been your Smyrna of the Day announcements. I'm Challen. And I'm Kevin. Have a wonderful day, Bulldogs. Stay updated with the latest at SHS by subscribing to the Smyrna High School YouTube channel and by following SHS Productions and BNN on Twitter.